other place that I'd rather be in the entire world, except right there. Gentlemen. Thank you. Elliot. The last five years have been incredible. And I know I've been talking about maybe moving or uh, shifting careers, but the more I think about our lives and where we're heading is... Water? <clears throat> Thank you. But considering everything, there's really only one last choice to make, and that is Elliot. Yes! <laughs> yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, and with everything that's happening, I was just wondering if, if you... I do! I do! Oh my god! I do! <laughs> this place is so romantic. Now, what were you saying? What I'm trying to say is, Elliot. Lucia, I've been waiting my whole life for you, and I don't care if we're in the middle of our shift. I can't bear to be apart from you for one moment longer. Will you marry me? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Did Elliot notice anything? Yeah, he noticed Hector confessing his unrequited love to Lucia after 15 fucking years. That's what he noticed. I still think you could have proposed. I mean, it's not like you got cold feet. Huh? Well, you know how you can get. Um, you know, you have to make one big decision and suddenly all the possibilities start going through your head, all the doubts and the worries. I mean, Darren, you bought that ring six months ago. Is anything going on? Going on? Laura, I love him. I love him. Why wouldn't I want to get married? Good morning. Hey, I just got to the venue. Where are you? Oh, my. Because you said that you'd get here early. I told you that these things always freak me out. Girl, what are you freaking out about now? Elliot, my engagement party, what are you talking Oh, my God. I reminded you on Monday. Yeah, that you moved it to today. Girl, what are you talking about? Darren and I can't wait. Elliot. Okay, see you soon. Love you too. Shit. Who is that? Kayla, it's our fucking engagement party. Uh, she had to move it up because they mixed up her dates, remember? No, no, no. I, I made us lunch reservations. And then I have a whole plan. Well, plans are changing. Elliot. She's my sister. My parents are still out of town, so we're doing a big family one in a couple of weeks. This one's only supposed to be a bunch of basic bitches getting head drunk off mimosas. You can't make me do that alone. <laughs> and the buffet is over there. And you can help yourself to the bar. Oh, thank you. Uh, next time, get here on time. <laughs> Oh, and Karen, because of your allergy, the food that has nuts labeled, so you don't have to worry, okay? Otherwise, enjoy, and I'll see you soon for the big game. Game? <laughs> Kidding? You know I hate being on the stage. Aren't there any other couples here? You're the brother of the bride. Hey, hey, look, look, look at me, look at me. It's not that big of a deal, okay? Okay? I promise. Ladies and 
gentlemen, relationships of all ages, I am proud to present the infamous prenuptial ritual of the Nearly Wedding. You know the rules? I'll ask a question and you guess what your significant other would answer. Sudden death till there's one couple standing. And here we go. Sure. This came with a box set. <laughs> Who's your husband take you on your first date? Couple number one? Oh, uh, do it for pink. Oh, question for pink. Oh, gender neutral pink. Millennial pink. Millennial pink. <laughs> Our first date was Amsterdam Tavern, Morningside Heights. <laughs> Which is now closed thanks to gentrification. That is correct. See, I told you it wasn't so bad. Right? Question number two for the gents. Who wants kids more, you or her? Couple number one. Who's her? My mom, because she cannot wait until she has grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was thinking about us, I would say, Darren? For our third question, each couple will answer at the same time. And this might be a leg up for our guests of honor. Mm. Where is your dream wedding destination? <laughs> Kayla and Ron. Her West hometown. Chester. <laughs> Wonder who got the upper hand there. Jerry and Camila. Financial, Financial district. district. All right. Darren and Elliot. Putakana! Oh. oh, our first elimination! And a 20,000 mile one at that. Putakana? I knew I always dreamed of going for a destination. You hate humidity. Thanks for playing! Well, that wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I shouldn't have come. I thought it was pretty nice. I mean, this is the first time that we get to be in the spotlight as a couple. I mean, we never get to do that. Then why does it have to feel so humiliating? Okay, if you can't even get through this now, then what's gonna happen when we actually get married? That is, if you ever get the nerve to pop the question. <laughs> come on. It's cute letting you think you're being all secretive, but there's been plenty of times where I'm thinking it's just about to happen, and you got me out here looking like... Elliot, the last few days have had the absolute worst timing. Hey, I think a big gesture is romantic, but there comes a time when you have to ask yourself, is it really just about the timing? And then something like this happens, and it's like, do you even want to get married? I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, knock it off. Look at me. No, I think my throat is closing. I... Shit! Oh, oh my god, what, what, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, Every pen. pen. No, 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 no. Hey, just keep breathing. We, we have time. Just, you have to do it until it clicks. I know, I know. Just don't scream, okay? I don't scream. Okay. One, two. Are you guys okay? Ah! One time, and you literally go into anaphylactic shock. You really knew every time I tried? I just thought you wanted it to be perfect. I might go see Laura. 
See you at home. And it was horrible. I mean, yeah, your throat started closing. No, the engagement party. First of all, there were these pink and blue ladies, and all these people were watching me and judging me. So it was some awful engagement party. Maybe just don't get so worked up over it. There's just been so much stupid shit that's been getting to me lately, and I don't know why. It's like, I came out when I was 17, right? But ever since then, I feel like I still have to come out all the time. Like at the engagement party? No, like, like at the grocery store. Some old woman says, you're gonna make some lucky lady happy one day. <laughs> or the guy at the deli asks if the flowers I'm buying are for my girlfriend. Or even at some stupid fucking engagement party, I'm surrounded by all this shit. And even though it's nothing I hide, I, I feel like I'm always micro coming out over and over again. So then just tell them you're gay and be done with it. It's not about that. It's one thing to make small talk about the weather or something, but this is, this is. Different? Personal. And I feel like people are always staring at me and, and making me talk about it and looking at me weirdly on the street. So that's why you don't want to get married. Huh? Well, if you get married, you know, you'd be the one who's the center of attention. Not even just that day, but like the months before. And, you know, the whole time there'd be people looking at you and talking to you and asking you all about it. Well, I'm sorry that if you decide to get married, everything would already be figured out. Because aside from all the little details, you know that you'd wear a white dress and, and he'd wear a black tux and all your bridesmaids would be on one side and the groomsmen on the That's other. Not what I meant at and all. here I am getting criticized just because I want it to be perfect. But it's not supposed to be perfect. And it's definitely not supposed to be about how you split up the bridesmaids or who walks down the aisle first or any of that shit. Just do whatever the fuck you want. And you know, above all, marriage is about commitment. It's about who you want to see the first moment you wake up every morning. The person who will stab you with an EpiPen and then let you meet up with your best friend if you need to cool off. And you know what, to be honest, no one else seems to have a problem with you getting married. If anyone has a problem with it, maybe it's just you. Darren. Darren, come on. Hey, Darren, right? Yeah. All right? How you doing this evening, man? How's, uh, how's your night going? Amazing. Sounds good. Sounds good to me, man. Yep. Good evening. It's nice out tonight, huh? Yeah. Long day for me, man. Been busy. But hey, I ain't complaining. Had a client take me in from Jersey, so I figure why not spend the spend the evening here, right? Yep. You know, driving in the city is not as bad as I thought it was. It's a little scary when you get next to those bus drivers though, huh? Look at that, man. It's crazy. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh I don't come into the city that often. But um, figure I make a night out of it, hang out a little bit. You have any uh, good spots I should go to? Any place to meet the ladies, if you know what I'm saying? Hey, buddy. What? Uh, I, I'm not from around here, so you have any suggestions? Places I should go? You know, I'm trying to meet some girls, hang out, have some fun. You know what I mean? Do you? Hey, buddy. No, I don't. Cause I'm gay. Okay? Okay. That's fine. That's cool with me, man. It's cool.
Darren, you're gonna get yourself killed. Get over here. Darren. Darren. Darren.